Do you ever wonder what it takes for someone to capture one of those amazing bucket shots and almost once in a lifetime photo or video? Well, come along with us and we'll show you what it took to get the bucket shot from the South Needle. Subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you enjoy it. Now, let's get ready to hike for the bucket shot. Hey guys, it is early in the morning. The sun has now come up. As you might have seen, we started this sucker in the dark, in uh, the early, early dawn, the moon up. So we made our way down the trail. And now we are on our way uphill to the South Needle. And what I'm hoping is gonna be one of those absolute bucket shots. But on top of that, We've got some caches to find that are gonna help us with our fizzy grid. So, an amazing hike up here, but not for the faint of heart. It is, uh, it's gonna be a bit of an adventure. So, let's go and check out our adventure to the South Needle. We took to the trail before 7 a.m. from the Rice Lake parking lot in the Lower Seymour Conservation Reserve. The beautiful trees lifted our eyes and our spirits as we started the 22 kilometer return hike. But it wasn't long until we had our first fun geocache find. Oh, oh it's trick or treat time. It is. One more picture. Treats here. <laughs> what was the trick? The trick is to get to it. <laughs> Finding that cache set some spring in our step, which we'd need for the enormous elevation enhancements ahead. We had filed our trip plan and packed our essentials for this hike, the first part of which takes you up some well-traveled root and rock trails until you make your way to South Lynn Peak, which is the first viewpoint looking back towards the Fraser Valley and Metro Vancouver. Hey guys, so we have made it up to uh, the Lynn Peak viewpoint. This is uh, where most people come up and they stop here, but we're gonna keep pressing on. We think that there's uh, something more amazing to see yet. And while this has the potential of being a great view, it's a little either foggy, cloudy, maybe even a little bit smoky. So that's pretty much the, uh, the main viewpoint you're gonna find until you push on. And we are headed next up to Lynn Peak. Ooh, I gotta dodge through some cut trees there. We're heading on to Lynn Peak next. The trail's getting a little rougher, but uh, um, we've done our first big elevation push up to get us close to a thousand meters. All right, so into the trees and keep heading on. In tackling a North Shore mountain hike, we had to be prepared for the terrain, knowing our team's abilities and giving ourselves plenty of daylight for a safe return. Plenty of flagging on the trail, which is really cool, really helps out. Since we're obviously the first people up here today, breaking a lot of spider webs with the old face. But spider webs weren't the only nature we knew we'd knock into on this trail. What you got there, Three Hands? This appears to be a special Pacific Northwest pine cone. Yeah. It uh, collects throughout the year all of the anger and crap from the Northwest. And it makes it incredibly dense. It hardly picks <laughs> just, us up. Just like people who do this hike. <laughs> Very dense. Yeah. <laughs> we were closing in on Lynn Peak, but the thing to know about the actual peak is that there is no view here. You're enclosed in the trees, and other than a geocache and a sense of personal achievement, what you'll find here is that the trail keeps going to the South Needle. Oh, we're getting a lot of up and down here on the trail. So kind of about a 50 to 100 meter gains and losses continually. It's a fair bit of work, but uh, found a couple more geocaches, uh, which, you know, gives you a nice break and uh, keeps the fun going. So way through the trees up there, that's our destination. That is the South Needle, and that is where we're hoping to get the bucket shot. But first, got a whole lot of down before we do a whole lot more up. 
The trail is certainly a lot more rustic and unmaintained once you're past the peaks of Lynn Mountain and headed to the Needles. We were ready to handle just about anything the mountain threw at us, which was good because that final push up was a tough one. Hey guys, we are in the last hundred meters and the views are already getting to be insane. Looking back, we could not believe we'd already conquered those three peaks, but we knew we had one more push to get ourselves to our destination, the South Needle. Sometimes when you really just want to get that bucket shot and by bucket shot, I mean that video or photo that just pops. It has, you know, it speaks to you and it speaks of you. Illustrates who you are, what you are, where you've been, and it's just amazing. So that's what I'm talking about. And you can see other people post theirs and you go, that's amazing. I need to go there. Well, we haven't really seen bucket shots of this place, but we saw some other photos and we thought, we need to go here. We need to check this place out and knew that it would be a bucket shot place for us. So let's go check out the South Needle. And that's where our bucket shot is today. So now that we're up here, first stop, so look for the geocache. Looks like it could be right here. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's the thing right there. And now we present for you our bucket shots from the South Needle. Very dancing. <laughs> Actually, I think I would float less well than this. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Yeah, so here you go. Nice, big, dense. What are you doing up there? I'm okay. I'm just helping Bruce find the cash on Martha. <laughs> Take two. Laura, how are you doing up there? I'm hot and sweaty. You're almost there. I like a little more wine with that. <laughs> yeah, I've got some cheese. That was well done. <laughs> 